Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States. Uh, episode number 35, I think. Could be. So we've invaded Bermuda, and although we've been blockaded the last couple months, I think the ship has finally righted in that sense, and they're no longer able to blockade us. In fact, we're actually ahead now in points. Where have those points gone? I, I Okay, surprisingly, one dreadnought decided to wander into the Caribbean. If that happened in real life, if you knew one dreadnought was wandering into... The Caribbean, you would do, especially the United States in this area. I mean, bombers are not so bad at this point, especially if we had war to uh, motivate technological development. I'm sure that we could just bomb it out of whatever port. I mean, this is this is really United States territory. Uh, probably that wasn't conclusively true, like f completely true, at the war's beginning. But since our naval, ha our navy has dominated the East Coast we would probably be able to project power in any form. And this kind of makes me want to play Hearts of Iron 4. <laughs> well, Hearts of Iron 3 is my favorite of the games, actually. But Hearts of Iron 4 does have the simplified user face, user interface, user face. Uh, actually, if you just took the production thing into Hearts of Iron 3, I'd probably prefer it better. And some of the uh, interface mm, niceties, the new engine, I guess I'm just trying to say. So we haven't gotten any more invasions. We have a 94 to 3 ratio here. We have a infinity 63 to nothing ratio here. Um, no invasions there. We're not going to be able to invade British Columbia because it has a value of 20. So we'll just have to forever give up the hope of actually invading uh, their one colony here, British Columbia. It would be nice to be able to invade colonies that, well, I guess it would change the game balance too much if you had... Uh, invasions of these bigger colonies. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit next turn. <clears throat> Any computers? Good. So one of the things I wanted to say as well is, um, ah, battleship engagement. Absolute. Uh, they're going to decline. Uh, unexpected battle. Okay. It's only a medium battle. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about is the destroyers and torpedoes and stuff like this. They have been doing a fantastic job, so I do actually want to build some more. How is our view? Uh, it's pretty good. Let's just maybe slide up a, a smidge. There. That seems good. Okay, I think that's good. Does that look good? Looks good. Okay, good. So let's move forward until we spot the enemy. Mm. It's actually taking a long time. There it is. Okay, they're to the south. Okay, Squad Max, Wichita Falls. Is it the Great Lakes? <laughs> the Wichita Falls is the one I think that took a quite a beating in our uh, big battle of Cape Cod. Now these destroyers, these are... Oh, okay, these are disposable. <laughs> we want to win this battle just because... Um, this is related to... Oh, no, this isn't related to the invasion. So we don't really care. Yeah, we'll just send these destroyers in to die. We're going to buy a lot more of these Cunninghams or maybe even develop a new class on top of that. The Cunningham was already amazing enough, so there's not like a strong incentive to build a new one. But, uh, well, we have the resources probably to do it. And it may have some weight. I mean, maybe we can get an extra knot. Who knows? Okay. We know that this is not... Yeah, I mean, I was basically running this because I, at full speed because okay, you guys actually get behind because the light cruisers are going to do the work, one. Two, you guys are not gunboat DDs. I don't have my other... Wow, I mean... Oof. Go ahead, just get out of here. Oh, wow, this is a lot of stuff. Okay, let's look at what we're actually up against. Three four inch guns, 1100 tons, and four four inch guns, 1400 tons. So the US class is a little bit, oh, we have an Etcher class as well, which is three, so it's basically the same as this Kale. One knot faster, 1100, 1100, 1200. So it's one knot faster and one uh, and 100 tons heavier with the same number of torpedoes, okay. Oh wow, we've just 
obviously completely crushed that usk. I guess it's sinking. It is. Focus fire on the kale then. Next. Let's get these guys actually to focus their fire on the etric. So this will be a little bit weird, but we'll... Oh, you can't. We'll divvy up fire according to... Yeah, perfect. Etric. Good. Division. <laughs> Launching torpedoes. Very brave. Yeah, we are hitting the kale, though. I mean, why not? It's not like torpedoes cost you any money. If it causes them to dodge at all, then yeah, mission accomplished. Oh my god. You almost hit my own ships! How dare you! Ah, okay, it's all over now, so go ahead and target the Etric. <laughs> this will be a quick battle. Kind of unfortunate for them that they went up against cruisers. I mean, what are they going to do? Okay, alright guys, let's settle down. Let's settle down. Head back to port. I think the other destroyers, well, we'll keep the other destroyers around, why not? Um, do not launch torpedoes. And here we go. Just to make sure that they're all dead. There it is. Alrighty. Pretty good victory. I mean, the victory points are set. The the pre, the Battle of Cape Cod, if I can say this, I'm so excited. Um, the Battle of Cape Cod is going to settle things for the war. We're just trying to influence the invasion. And I know you can have multiple invasions at the same time, so... Wow, our monthly balance has just... plummeted. Why is that? Okay, good. So we've taken care of Bermuda. A cruiser action. Oh, yes. I don't think that they're going to accept it. Yeah. We don't care. We just want to do whatever we can to prolong the war in order to get hopefully some more evasions. Like 63 to 3. I still haven't seen the destroyers cause an invasion, so I'm still skeptical a bit skeptical about whether they can. We will wait and see. Okay, um, what else do we want to look at then? Oh yeah, the destroyers. So let's look at the classes that we have. I mean, the Cunningham is really in a great ship. I like the three centerline five inch guns. And, I mean, this, what can you do better than this? I don't, it's not like it matters to design a new ship. It doesn't, the cost of building the initial destroyer is nothing. It's just nothing. That said, though, what can you do better than what we already had done? And I think that we can't even get, yeah. We can't even, I mean, we can't do better than what we did at 35 knots. The The Cunningham actually exceeded its design speed. So it would be a setback. 1300, we're just going to build more Cunninghams. We have to. We can't actually design something better than the Cunningham, despite the the 1% um, tonnage savings is really going to help for armor and all those things on anything but a destroyer. One, destroyers don't have armor, but even for like engine and all those other things, the weight, 1% of 1,300 is nothing. <laughs> it's it's 13. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's the point, is we would need, like, nine of those improvements to get us down 100 tons, and that's the only way we can save our weight, and ah, this, and this thing is just damn good already. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and build some more of them. Okay, they're not... Were they here? No, they're not. Huh. Cunningham. Uh, yeah, let's just build a bunch. Seven more? Okay. Get sending more, seven more Cunninghams. And they'll be ready just about the same time as Ticonderoga's will. That's going to make for a nice little fleet. 
Um, they want to buy everything. I guess we'll allow them. Ooh, the Asahi. That's not a bad ship. It's really nice. I like it. Oh, by the way, we're all on improved director still? Who the heck has... Somebody have advanced director yet? It's, I mean, it's overdue. 1925, basically, you expect all the technology to be finishing. Especially for the tech leaders like um, ourselves, the United States, and the British. Convoy defense, I will accept because I believe that... Hmm. Ooh. Oh, yes. So this is one... Okay, it's, it's nighttime as well. So how, they, how are they even going to spot this ship? This is horrifying. I don't think the game realized that we're not going to be able to spot her. Okay, we, we are. Uh, without, I was going to say, without um, better vision. So this is going to be dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Come on, identify her. And now you have, like, very little time to launch out of arc. Okay. So we can only hope that it's the same for her. Launch everything. Fire everything. Don't hold back. Yes. You should be firing all your guns. There we go. There's the 14 inch guns. More 14 inch guns. And three more. Okay, that is good. Now what I want to do is uh, take a base of action for torpedoes. Those were some good 14-inch hits. We're just going to charge right at where she was. Is she literally dead in the water? Okay, it's going to be hard to identify. They're hard not to identify at this point. <laughs> Okay, now we're raking her with fire. That's good. That's good. Okay, good. So what was this thing? A light cruiser, but we didn't see any... I don't think we ever even identified it. A Latona. It's an old one, 4100. Um, Five-inch guns, man. Not much going on with it. It does have mines, so that's nice to take those out of the picture. Okay. I like those battles. I mean, I would hope for a different, you know, battlecruiser versus battlecruiser, something like that. But it's always fun to take control of your battlecruisers. Anytime they get in the fight, it's like, it's a joy. Okay. That is <laughs> hideous. I dislike. Very much dislike. One of my battlecruisers will just eat this thing for, for any meal of the day, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Chew it up, spit it out, and the only hope they have is, and they didn't even go with top-mounted torpedoes. This thing is pathetic. It is hopeless. It would just get eaten alive by any battle cruiser. Enemy coastal raid. This is pretty much the only battle I don't like to fight. So as much as I'd love to, what is large? I have a feeling they'll decline, but let's see what else. Ah, should, maybe I should have done it. Okay, well, let's keep going. Please, a few more months. Good. Cruiser action, yes. Oh! Please be, please be. Oh! <laughs> I thought this could have been the battle cruiser versus armor cruiser. I was going to be so excited about that. So we have to wait, unfortunately, to identify this ship, I mean, find the ship first. This could be an armored cruiser, the same way that it might have been an armored cruiser to our battle cruiser. It could be an armored cruiser to our... Uh, to our light cruiser. So we're going to just spin away. Squad max. Squad max. There's Galveston. This is an older ship as well. We'd probably be okay with her just getting sunk. Galveston's not like the best class. 
I'm so like mean. Eh, it's okay. You can go die. Ah, but it looks like this is a destroyer, maybe. It's literally a minesweeper. Wow. I forgot what ships these are. Oh, this is the Farragut class. The old. Oops. Let the New Jersey finish her off. You guys go home. Minesweepers can't have uh, torpedoes, so I didn't worry too much about it. Not the most exciting engagement. Russian gun manufacturers are now advertising 15 inch guns. Those poor fools. <laughs> Those poor, poor fools. <laughs> okay, eight months more and then we get the Tycho's out, which I'm extremely excited about. Okay, cruiser action. Please be real, please be real, please be battle cruiser, please be no. Well, at least we're right next to port, so if something goes poorly. It's always my goal to try to get all these done before we spot the ship, anyway. Is there Galveston's, I suppose? Yeah. Actually, I have a port to our south that we can retreat to. Comes to that. Okay. Let's do it. Let's fight this one. launch some torpedoes to kind of scare her off into a different direction. Okay, not yet. Good. Nice and loud. Forgot about that. Let me bring down the game volume a bit. I didn't really want to fire too many. Just enough to start scaring her off. Not bad, actually. Okay, well, Bristol's taking some hits. Not too surprising. Can we launch, by the way, Shenandoah? Can you launch? No. Okay, that's fine. Just get these guys into port. The main thing is getting the light cruisers to fight the light cruisers. Okay. Poi smoke. She's fast. A few more hits there. Okay, we're getting some hits in now. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. them with four inch guns that's not and yeah, their belt actually can probably withstand that <laughs> from this range let's let's do a little bit of digging and see what's going on here we are able to at 8800 yards our penetration is yeah plenty on here but not it's only two so the four inch guns won't penetrate let's swing in There we go. I mean, we've, we hit her a whole bunch, I think. I'm not crazy, right? Ah, that's a lot of hits. Four, okay, some four, though. Uh, some sixes. Just looking for enough to slow her down. She seems to still be cruising along pretty well. Let's chase her. Apparently these guys can't enter port. Okay, there it is. I 
has a couple hits. A couple more. Yeah, she slowed down now. That's what I was waiting for. Once she slows down, she's dead. Speed is everything, you know. I mean, when you need it to be. <laughs> it's everything some of the time. <laughs> Like when you're trying to escape, run somebody down, I mean, speed is really important, but if you're just fighting wall to wall, you know, ship of the line type thing, speed not so important. Okay, there it is. Ah! <laughs> Lost a submarine too. Funny. Okay, so we're just chopping away at their ships, slowly. Surprised that they aren't blockaded yet. They are, I guess, leaving enough back at home to prevent that. Okay. I'm going to accept because they don't have any cruisers here, so this is. Four, five, six, got it. Just in time. Speed up, charge them down. You guys probably just turn away. <laughs> I'm assuming this is an AMC. So, what the frickin' hell? All right, well, assuming he makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, this is fun. This is fun. This is fun. Let's go for it. Okay, first of all, everyone deploy smoke. Why not, right? Okay, we have to go down with you guys. Up with you guys. Assume that she's gonna spin. She's spinning the wrong way, but that's okay. Torpedoes are the name other are the name of the game here. I mean, this is a 37,000 ton ship. Holy cow. 16 inch guns. Basically, she lands any hit and our light cruiser is just going to lift it out of the water. Wow, this is incredible. I don't know why I'm doing this. We're probably going to lose every ship. <laughs> okay, um, prepare to launch torpedoes. Launch. Launch one. Okay, wait. Let's see how she reacts to that. I mean, we are probably not doing... Ah, oh, she has pretty light armor. My god. <laughs> okay, she's detached. Just fire everything, because you're probably not going to make it very long. Anyway, out of arc. Smoke. Smoke. Okay, we got her to turn. Wish I could control where these torpedoes are going. That's just clearly not going to work. She's obviously turning around. Okay. Well, do we want to lose these? Light cruisers are a little bit more expensive. Let's try to save those and just send the light the destroyers in. Maybe. Okay, the Yuki's dead. Okay, Yuki, can you launch? Because I'm a little worried. <laughs> You're not going to make it. <laughs> yeah, out of our 
work still, that's fine. Expended. Probably it's going to tell me there's friendly ships in the way. Yeah. Okay. Oops, got the wrong one. Each one is their own division now. Okay, that's that one. Yuki pull off. This is being shot like a bat out of hell. That's what I want, too. Hopefully some of these connect. Hold your fire, sea eagle. Well, I guess don't hold your fire, but we're going to want you to just fly in. Yuki's sinking. Okay, we might get lucky here. Let's slow this down a bit. Ah. 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 I thought that was going to be a hit. We need to get a few hits here to have some save the day type stuff. Otherwise, you know, we're just not going to get it. No success. Need to get closer. Oh, there's no friendly ship in line of fire. Stupid. Farragut sticking her heads. Okay, let's launch with the Farragut. Can we launch from this angle? They are surface mounted. Yes, that's a good shot. That's what I want to see. Alright, these guys are not going to hit. None of them are going to hit. Oh, there's no friendly ship in the line of fire. Ah, stupid game. Just let me override that. Seems like we're going to lose a few here. Out of arc. Huh, port side is out of arc. Okay. Is she able to... Sometimes they can get one more off. Yes. Okay, let's get these guys to just return home. We're not going to have any destroyers, destroyer support in a second, so... Okay, good. Um, it is almost nighttime, but I guess what I could have done is Well that's that's not almost nighttime. <laughs> oh, local time is midday. Yeah, forget it. I would love for my engagements to be at midday, but Alright. Long day Oh, it disappeared. No, it didn't. Ah, so close. Why not, right? <laughs> okay. Watch that other one. Okay, very good. Okay. We don't need to run it slow anymore. Ugh! Bollocks. Oh boy. Well, when it rains, it pours sometimes. Are they deploying smoke still? They are. Might have to do some heroics with the alligator here. How fast is this damn ship? Holy mother of goodness. Well, the alligators are gone or anyway. We're going to pull off and... That's not what I wanted to do. We'll detach her immediately so that I can control her. One of them is coming home. <laughs> the other one is not. Okay, I don't know why you can't see that target. It seems pretty clean. Pretty clear to me. Ooh, 
Ouch. <laughs> this is a brutal, brutal, brutal battle. Well, one of our ships got away, so... Haha. Ha. <sighs> you know, if the chances of such a thing weren't so low, you would do it all the time, right? If it wasn't... Like, it's not like a heroic operation if it's guaranteed to, guaranteed to succeed. So, hey, I'm just trying to say, basically, that such operations are doomed to failure. <laughs> Most of the time. And if you were to get so lucky as to succeed, then that's really something. Yeah. Uh, what kind of damage did we do to her? I'd kind of be interested in seeing how many of these penetrated. One penetrated here. Another penetrated here. Two. This is 14 medium hits, but I think only two penetrated. One. Two. Yeah, I think that's it. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah. Would have loved for my battle cruisers to be in that one. <laughs> that's a decisive battle? No, I don't, I don't think so. I disagree. Okay, so where else are we trying to invade right now? Because we probably should push... We can invade Nova Scotia. It would be nice to continue to invade all along here. We can invade Newfoundland, New Brunswick. Those are all perfect invasion opportunities. So let's just keep hoping we get an invasion there because um, really the only place we can't get an invasion is the West Coast. And I'm pretty sure we can here. Absolutely. And certainly we can in some of these. Just haven't gotten lucky yet. We, we, we took one colony, so... It's, um, okay, there it is. Enemy Coastal Raid? Sure, I dislike those, but... Oh, what the hell? <sighs> what the hell? <laughs> one good name, one in good God. What the hell is this? First of all, who the hell... I didn't see who was possibly in this battle, even. Who are all these divisions? We need to keep the reports screen open because we need to know where the enemy is reported. Okay, these are merchants and minesweepers. There's a yeah, this is a ton of ships out just for Bermuda. It's a bit bizarre. I'm heading this way because that's the direction we were originally heading, so sometimes they, they try to make your ships line up together. Okay, Merchant Division 7, Merchant 3 is out there. So that'll be my Eastern Patrol. Ah, 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 ah. Oh my god. I have a Yosemite here. Where, oh my god, no, get down there quickly. Let's go, quickly. I mean, they're, they're probably going to destroy it by themselves, but... Go, go. Let's see what's going on. Okay, I need to get my divisions off of AI control. Status? Yeah, that's what I want. Support, line ahead. Squad max, go. Find out where they are. Where's the other one? Yeah, you also off AI control, support. Line ahead, squad max. Okay, there we go. Let's see how we're doing here. I don't see too much damage. 
try to angle on them that way. What are we firing at here? Let me know. Your sister ship wants in on the action as well. Like, where the hell are we firing? I don't see anything. What the hell is the U-70 firing at? Oh, this? Are you kidding me? there was something like you know useful going on I'm gonna keep my light cruisers with them just so I know where those people are is there any other reports something up here maybe these guys to merge. I think that's it. I mean, the, there's more ships out there. But, there we go. Where the hell are they? Okay, go to AI controlled. Can I get these guys to directly support the, <laughs> the other group? <laughs> so I have eyes on at all times? No. I have faster on so that I notice, hopefully, a change in speed when we spot somebody, or when anybody is spotting anybody. We lost the other ones anyways, just go to AI, AI control, so I don't have to worry about you. Alright, let's just go down to cruise, or maybe, okay. They only have, uh, what a waste of time. Well, it's kind of exciting, I guess. <laughs> I thought there might be something more, but... Uh... Okay, well that's going to conclude this episode, kind of a nothing episode. A uh, few fights. We had that daring. I guess it was almost an interesting episode, and the fact that we had this daring kind of reminds me of the PT boats <laughs> rowing out, you know, zooming out to launch torpedoes at bigger ships. It's kind of the thing we had, and we had horrible losses, <laughs> as you'd expect. So we're we're actually reaching the point. I'm not surprised by this. I kind of was thinking, oh, the cunning cams are almost obsolete. We're reaching the point where some of our ships are getting a bit old. And I think we'll, we might even do wartime refits. Because we're like in a dominating position. Um, if we manage to take New Brunswick out of this. Then I will be very happy. We'll, we will have taken two colonies. Two important colonies. 50 there. 20 there. They'll still have pretty good naval capacity in the east coast but um it should 
I don't know. They shouldn't be able to support quite as many ships. I'd love to get an invasion somewhere else still. But it looks like maybe you do have to have like dreadnoughts to, to truly force an invasion. Because we have not forced an invasion anywhere but where we have dreadnoughts. I thought you could at least do it with battle cruisers, but maybe that's also not true? We'll have to see. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode, and I'll catch you back for the next one. Until then, take care.